Today, we've got some exciting news for all Samsung fans, especially those eagerly waiting for the One UI 7.0 update. Over the past one and a half weeks, there's been a lot of buzz about the upcoming One UI 7.0, and the latest leaks have only fueled our anticipation. So let's dive into what makes this update a potential game changer, particularly for the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Let's start with the big news. One UI 7.0 is set to bring significant improvements to the camera quality of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. According to the reliable leaker at Universis, Samsung is focusing on optimizing a few key shooting modes, specifically the 1X and 5X 50 megapixel modes on the primary and telephoto cameras are expected to deliver picture quality on par with the 12 megapixel pixel bin photos, which are known for their clarity, vibrant colors, and dynamic range. This means that users will enjoy higher visual clarity and overall better photo quality, making the Galaxy S24 Ultra's already impressive camera even more powerful. But the camera improvements are just the tip of the iceberg. One UI 7.0 appears to be a much more significant update for Samsung than previous firmware versions. This update is likely to introduce the new Galaxy AI, further enhancing user experience with smarter software. We're talking about more fluid UI animations, redesigned Samsung app icons, a revamped quick toggle area, new home screen customization options, and even some iOS-like qualities. Recently, we see a massive leak that gives us a glimpse of the design changes coming with One UI 7.0. The quick panel, a key feature of Samsung's UI, is getting a fresh look. It's now divided into two sections, quick setting toggles and notifications, which you can switch between with a simple swipe. You can even hide the labels of quick setting toggles for a cleaner look. While some rumors suggested that the new design might mimic iOS, it seems more like an evolution of One UI's existing design, focusing on usability and aesthetics. In addition to the quick panel, Samsung is also updating the icons for several stock apps, including camera, clock, Contacts, gallery, and weather. These new icons have a more three-dimensional look, which adds depth and a modern feel to the interface. Even the settings app is getting a makeover with more rounded corners for section dividers. One exciting feature that Samsung seems to be refining is the continuity feature. This feature allows users to transfer video call notifications to nearby devices like a Galaxy tablet or Samsung TV, as long as both devices are logged into the same Samsung account. This enhancement could significantly improve here might get it in the first quarter of 2025. This broad release window ensures that most users will soon experience the new improved features that One UI 7.0 has to offer. One UI 7.0 is shaping up to be one of the most exciting updates from Samsung in recent years with significant improvements in camera quality, design, and overall user experience. Whether you're a photography enthusiast or just someone who loves a polished, efficient user interface, there's something in this update for you. That's it for today. What are your thoughts on the upcoming One UI 7.0 update? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on the latest tech news, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. As always, see you in the next video. Hey, we've got some exciting news about Samsung's upcoming foldable smartphones. If you're a tech enthusiast, you're definitely going to want to stick around for this one. We're talking about the highly anticipated Galaxy Z Fold 6 series, and more specifically, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, which is rumored to be coming to China and Korea. Let's dive right in. Among the many Galaxy Z Fold 6 models that are currently in development in Samsung's labs, the one that has everyone buzzing is the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Now, if you're familiar with Samsung's ultra-branded smartphones, you know they are designed to be the best of the best, offering high-end features and cutting-edge technology. While the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 is expected to bring some minor incremental upgrades, all eyes are undoubtedly on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. However, here's the catch. The Ultra isn't expected to get a global release. But don't worry, it seems this powerhouse of a device won't be restricted to just Samsung's home country, South Korea. According to the folks over at Android Headlines, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra could also be launching in China. This is particularly interesting because it seems the rumored Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim which we've been hearing about with its slimmer body, bigger displays, and larger battery, might actually be the Chinese variant of the Fold 6 Ultra. If this is true, it would clear up some of the confusion we've seen in recent weeks about how many models Samsung is actually working on. It might just be two. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 and the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, the Ultra, limited to Korea and China for now, would allow Samsung to gauge interest levels before potentially bringing it to a wider audience. In China, the Z Fold 6 Ultra may be sold as the Samsung Go U25, complete with unique visual touches like decorative engravings on the hinge, similar to previous Samsung Gilead smartphones. 
And here's another interesting tidbit. China might also get the Galaxy Z Flip 6 as the W25 Flip. This is speculative at this point, but it aligns with rumors that Samsung is also working on a Galaxy Z Flip 6 Slim. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a lot of detailed information about what exactly the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra will offer compared to the Z Fold 6. This is probably because the Ultra model isn't launching alongside the standard model, but we can expect more details to emerge once the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 goes official at Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked event next month. Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked events are always full of surprises and we can't wait to see what they have in store for us this time. Will the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra live up to the hype? Will it bring groundbreaking features that set apart from the standard model? Only time will tell. To be an upgrade. While rumors suggest a larger display and a slimmer design, the lack of S Pen support might be a deal breaker for some users. Ross Yanon also mentioned that production for the Z Fold 6 Ultra's display panels might begin later this year, with a launch expected in January alongside the Galaxy S25. This staggered release makes sense. It avoids competing with the July launch of the regular Fold 6 and keeps the Ultra exclusive to South Korea for now, which might frustrate international buyers. Speaking of launches, rumors suggest the next Galaxy Unpacked event might be happening on July 10th in Paris, France. However, Tipster E-Leak's list of expected reveals didn't include the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Does this mean no Fold 6 Ultra this year? Probably not. E-Leak's list might only include devices long leaked photo a few days ago, looks a bit cheap and out of place on a flagship smartphone expected to cost over $1,500. The device in the picture also appears to be wider than the current Galaxy Z Fold models, suggesting that Samsung is increasing the display size. However, the screens won't be significantly bigger. Samsung is reportedly saving the major display size upgrade for the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra and Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim models, which are rumored to launch alongside the standard Z Fold 6 this year. Now, let's move to the front. The first hands-on image of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 has leaked and reveals that Samsung has finally listened to Galaxy Z Fold users. The new foldable phone will feature a wider cover screen compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Reliable tipster Ice Universe shared this full image showing the front of the device and comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. As you can see, the upcoming foldable phone will have a wider cover screen that matches the width of the Galaxy Z Fold 5's cover screen plus one of its bezels. This wider cover screen should improve the typing experience on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and resolve aspect ratio issues in some apps and games. The new foldable also appears to have much sharper corners for both the body and the cover screen. A tipster shared a photo that seems to show a new camera module for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Although the leak only indicates that the camera module will feature a new design, it's doubtful Samsung would implement a design change without also upgrading the camera hardware. Here we have the first look at the new Galaxy Z Fold 6 outer display. A Twitter user named Ali recently shared a render comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. According to Ali, the new outer display features a boxier design and a slimmer hinge, significantly enhancing a Fold 6's overall appearance. The most noticeable difference between the Fold 5 and Fold 6 is the wider cover display. The render clearly shows what do you think about these changes? Are you excited about the wider cover screen and new design? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest tech news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.